In this video, I will show you how to bootload the firmware on an XLE or an XLT OCS. First thing we will want to do is go to the HornerAutomation.com website to download the firmware. Once on the site, go to menu on the right hand side of the screen, select support, downloads, and controller firmware. For this presentation, I will be updating the XLE to 15.40. The procedure is the same for the XLE, XLEE, XLT, and XLTE. We have the XLE 15.40, and we will download this. And then save it. You'll also see download release notes on this page. These will show you what has been changed within the firmware that you're downloading. We'll go to our PCC drive, download folder, where we saved the firmware download, open the zip folder, and you'll find an executable file. This executable file will place the firmware in the Cscape firmware folder on your C drive. Go to Program Files x86, Cscape, and Firmware. And you'll find the firmware that was placed by the executable. Once that is complete, you can open Cscape, connect your controller to your PC using a serial cable to the MJ1 port, or you can use a USB cable to the mini USB connection, if so equipped on your controller. Once you're connected, you can go to File, Firmware Update Wizard, and if not already selected, select the model controller from the list. In this case, the XLE is already shown as we are connected to it. You'll click Manual, and from the drop-down list, select Boot CPLD. Click OK to the warning, and Start. At this point, you'll get instruction screen. You'll need to follow these instructions. Switch three will be found on the side of the unit and should be turned on at this point. Switch three on or cycle the unit. And at this point, your screen will be appear black. This is perfectly normal. We'll click OK and start. Once this part is completed, follow the instructions to turn the switch off and power cycle the unit. Close the updater. And at this point, your controller should have a screen that looks similar to this. Now we'll go back to File in Cscape and select the Firmware Update Wizard again. Select your controller model, XLE in this case. Select Manual. 
and this time we'll select primary firmware. Click OK to the warning and start. This may take a couple minutes. Once the download is complete, you can close the updater. Now on your controller, you'll want to go into the system menu using the up down arrow for the XLE or the system button for the XLT and go to view status and scroll down to where the firmware is listed. You should now have firmware 15.40, BIOS 0 0.28, and CPLD 2.0. It's important that all three of these match the firmware that you downloaded as they are a match set. This completes the video presentation on the bootloading firmware for the XLE XLT model OCS.